I'm Adel, brother, and I am in Geneva. I have just hopped off the bus. I am fucking thirsty. I'm wearing a coat that stinks, and my hair is scruffy as fuck. I'm basically like an homeless person, but I'm like a cultured homeless person because I get a bath. Oh, so one hour's eight minute walk, we get to the shop, 12, 24, get the paint, do a painting, that takes up to about two. So yeah, it's looking like I'm gonna get the 4.30 out of Geneva, which is about right. Five hours is enough to check out a city. Well, I'm guessing it's quite a big place, so probably not. But we'll do what we can do. I've got to take this jacket off, stick it in the bag, man. It's fucking scorching out here. You won't think it, man, but up in the mountains yesterday, it was like 17 degrees, some crazy like that. Shout out the uh, B&B for leaving this Wilson bag behind. I am very tempted to take it, but I'm not going to. Just, you don't do them things here. It's alright to uh, take from big corporation, but not the little man. But yeah, that bag can go in there until we need to do some painting. I've got a thinner jacket I could have brought with me, but I'm not trying to ruin that one. It's uh, a little bit nicer. This is just me sweaty ski jacket, so that one can get fucked. And it could do with a bit more standout colour on it, you know, so when they... If I ever do go again, they can fucking see me coming because when you're all geared up, everyone just looks the same, don't they? There's a lot of water flowing about in Geneva. It's pretty cool. I love this little bit, especially the like shallow. Well, it looks shallow, but it ain't really that shallow, is it? Just like a scenic river. It looks like it's flowing down from the mountain. Wouldn't be too shocked if it was the same one or well, somewhat connected to the ones coming down from the Alps because obviously gravity and whatnot demolition of a building always nice to see so when I've got me painting I'm not I'm making very good time actually I'm 26 minutes away and I'm getting there for 12 15 now when I've got me paint and maybe done a painting we then go and eat the paprika chicken burger that we saw mash tag eating a few weeks back obviously the same be original and all that yeah but if I want to pay homage to one of my fucking idols that is what I'm gonna do and I've also got another thing that I'm going to do when I get back to Chamonix. I'm going to recreate one of his photographs. I do kind of want to get back on the half two one so I can get it in daylight. But it is what it is if I have to go back at four. Should still be light enough to get the snap that I want to get. But which way am I going? Oh, one second. Make sure I'm going the right way. Yes, we are good. Right, I'll jump back when I'm at the paint shop. Yep, found the spot. Record timing as well. Got here. 1206. Your destination is on the right. Let's have a look. Doesn't look very open. It's fucking closed. Fuck's sake. Right, so it says on appointment on the fucking door. Some geezer's translated it for me. Don't know what that means. I'm guessing it ain't open today. Uh, said open on the fucking internet as well, man. There's another shop though, there is another one. I'm gonna try to find that, obviously I ain't giving up that easy. But yeah, I fucking walked about four and a half kilometers to get here and it's not open, man. Oh no. Fuck's sake, all right, let's find the other shop, stop moaning. We don't want problems, we want solutions. Right, so there's another shop about 50 minutes walk away. This one is shut and they're not answering the phone. It looked like a great shop as well. But right. We press on. I'm gonna call these guys first to make sure they're actually open because I'm not making the same mistake twice. I will just go and sit at the pub. Right, so now new arrival time is 1.03, but I'll be able to shave that down to about 10 to 1. But I am gonna stop and get a paprika chicken burger as soon as I see a Mackey's on the way. Oh, slight dilemma, but hey, it is what it is. You gotta fucking roll with it, in ya. Might as well document some of the graffiti around here. This is very, very nice. I love the fucking like tie-dye theme. This guy's been a few places as well, TDS. Uh, we're in spitting distance of the shop now. Should be there in about 10 minutes. And to be honest, I'm looking around at all this graffiti. I saw some real nice stuff on the river, the underpass. But all of this is fucking wank. Oh, I don't know whether these panels have been painted on then moved from a different site. That's got to be what it is. But it's fucking wank. Oh, that's not the easiest surface to paint, I'll give you that. Exit the roundabout. But where is the standard of art? Birmingham City, Leicester City, Nottingham City. Miles above this, bro, miles above this. Even Chamonix had a lot better graffiti. I've seen a few bits, I've seen a few bits, but 
not enough man, not enough. 242, another five kilometers knocked out. I'm here. The thing is, this is a skate shop, so the selection ain't gonna be the best, but we can only ask out for the best, eh? I ain't too small a selection, actually. How you doing? I'm here giving you the real tourist information, not how much a croissant costs, cost or how much a beer costs, it's how much a kind of spray paint will cost you out here in Switzerland. Yeah, they have to do the conversion so it works out about seven euros, seven euros fifty per can, which is pretty reasonable if you ask me, not too bad. Yeah, so I would have just went there first if I knew they had such a fine selection of equipment, but on the picture you could only see one little rack. I asked uh, is that river spot called to paint? She says yeah, most people just go there. So that's where we're heading now, but before we get there I need to get a little drink or something because I'm thirsty as a motherfucker again. But I feel like it's, it's one o'clock now, isn't it? I've done 10 kilometers, that's pretty much half a marathon or something, I don't know. So I'm getting a beer, I've earned it, god damn. Also she gave me some francs change, which is pretty cool. I've never seen them before, it's like a cool currency. I'll uh, give you a quick look at that in a second before I spend them. Waste your time, brother. I just want to film the Swiss francs. Never seen them before. This side is a uh, yeah, very cool, man. Very cool money. Yeah, yeah. mercy, bro. Sorry that took so long. Oh, so I got some Swedish beer. Or I keep saying Swedish. It's Switzerland, right now. Different places, I don't. Different places. Back down to the river. Five minutes this way. Hopefully, do a painting and then get to the airport for two thirty. Back up into Chamonix. I doubt I'm gonna make it, but you know, one can only hope. Uh, but yeah, I'll jump back when I'm at the bridge, get some painting fucking started. I would have done, normally I'd buy 12 cans, 10 cans, whatever. So I'm a little bit limited on what I can do here, but I will be able to do something nice, rest assured. Thank fuck I'm a clumsy kid, man. Drop this on the floor. Walked about 20 meters, 30 meters up this way. Bit more. Realized I dropped the bastard run back there it is crumpled on the floor after well that lady walked past and god knows how many other people i've said it before i'm the most lucky unlucky man in the world so this space here doesn't exactly seem like it's going to be the most legal because it's just it's not really oh the wall carries on further down uh i'll paint here though because this is a bit of a mess anyway isn't it yeah let's chuck up some lines before that though Let's, uh, let's have a fucking see what this Swiss beer is saying. What's it called? A field skull skin. Field skull skin, yeah? That'll do. Close enough. That ain't bad. 5%? No, that's 50, 50 cilia. It's a 0.5 percent valve. Don't want to be 0.5 percent. Must be 5 percent, doesn't it? A couple of quick touch-ups. I had already started chucking the blue at it, uh, the black at it rather. But uh, I realised that I should do the touch-ups first. For some reason, this blue got like, changed colour halfway through. Don't know what the deal is with that. I think it has it. Yeah, you can see it's like two shades, isn't it? Hardcore need to work on the rusty formula. But yeah, we're onto the black phase now. Onto the black phase. Round it once with the white now. I'm gonna go back around it with the black. That should be my final touch up. Then I think I'm gonna do a little dub here for my boy and then do another little dub underneath it. That should finish up. I know I said I was gonna film more of it, but Fucking, you still get to see the end piece anyway, what's it matter? Right, that'll do for my boy right there. Get the little lean back shot. That is my first Switzerland view right there. One set, there's a little touch up on the black. I just missed, touch that up. Then I'm gonna do a little dub right next to it. Okay, that'll have to do, that will have to do. Good, you know, there's a few imperfections. I ain't gonna uh, faff over them too much. We need to get cracked on. Let me check the time. But it is fairly late now. Yeah, so quarter to two. 
Oh, I've done some letters for me and my boy as well because he asked me nice, he didn't say pretty please, but oh yeah, I've done it anyway. I've done them a bit quick because obviously it's nine letters and I had just done a character and I've got to get a fucking bus back to where I'm stopping tonight unless I want to be sleeping on the streets of Geneva. I'm going to cross over the river quick and get a nice little snap of it. Have a nice little owls and roller piece. Like I said, the letters are a bit shabby. Probably should have just done my own letters there and done like a bit nicer and done in one later when I had a bit more time. But fuck it, I'm a gentleman until he asked me to drop him up a tag or two. He says, mate, I'll do better than that. I'll do you a fucking dub. Uh, that's a spot and a half. This is all uh, all painted up down here. I have a little detour. I was going to walk to the airport. It's about an hour away, but then I th thought, fuck it, I'll be able to catch one from the main bus stop, won't I? So this is all... I probably wouldn't paint here. Don't know whether they're knocking this building down or something, whether it's derelict, but but me, it's clattered. None of it's amazing here. Big up Pacer though, he's probably the most prolific person I've seen around here. Let's see if he's got anything on this wall quick. But yeah, he's been pretty much everywhere, Pacer. So this is what the, the Swiss ticket men look like. They look a lot more pleasing to the eye than the British ticket men. But yeah, that boy right there, he just got stitched up real bad. Let's see if we can see how much it's going to cost him. I don't say, I think you gotta gotta scan there and it'll tell you how much you gotta pay, but bad times for this guy. I don't see what he did wrong exactly. Maybe they have to have like the little badge in the window to park here, yeah. I don't know. What knows what that boy did wrong? Yeah, oh, it's disabled parking, I don't, I don't fucking know. That's pretty sick, a little totem pole for you. Very nice, very nice. Yeah, what do I reckon to Switzerland, Geneva then? Not the biggest fan. Everywhere just smells like money. And I haven't got money. <laughs> no, it's alright over here, but... The graffiti shit. I've seen one actual amazing piece, and that was by that 360 dude. He does like the little, the yellow men in the fucking weird costumes with the antennas coming off and that. That was pretty cool. Uh, I don't think I could have went to La Crux if I had more time, or I will go to La Crux if I uh, miss this buzz. I'm playing it because I ain't had no calamities yet this holiday. I'm starting to feel a bit antsy. So what I'm doing is I'm risking going to the airport and catching the free buzz back to Geneva, rather than spending the seventeen pound and getting a ticket. It's stupid, I know, but if it all goes wrong, it all goes wrong. A bit of luck will be alright because the two times I've caught these buzzes so far, no ticket check in. But I've yet to be charged, they say third time the charm. Hopefully, I don't get third time shafted over, but we will see. Nice little cat doing his thing, getting harassed. Need to find some food anyway. I want a fucking McDonald's, but I'm about 25 minutes away from the airport now and I ain't found one yet, so I'm thinking I need to do a little detour get a paprika chicken burger because i need that shit in my life i love some paprika well I'm fucking going for it there is a mcdonald's at the airport but i'm guessing that's just gonna have me pants down so i'm going 20 minutes out of the way but it'll be 15 minutes for my fucking godly pace 15 minutes out of the way to get a paprika chicken burger and then we go to the airport hopefully i don't get fucking stranded but if i have to run i will run well, if I get stranded, I get stranded, it's not the end of the world. It's fairly warm. I've got a ski jacket, I've got spray paint, I've got beer money. I don't care. We're doing it. We're taking the risk. But I do want a painting Chamonix, so that's the only thing that will fuck me up. I'd rather get a painting with the lovely mountain backdrop than walk around here all night and write my name everywhere. I can't be asked to do that. So I got me chicken paprika. It was the fastest McDonald's I've ever seen in my life. I had to ask him for a password to go for a piss. And then I come back and there it was staring at me. How come Mashtag got his in a fancy box? I'll get mine in a bit of paper. It does look fire, I shall let you know. Ask your taste. If you detour, I'll give it a 7 out of 10. Didn't blow your mind. Chicken was a bit thicker than what you get in the UK. Right, I'm trying to recreate, seeing as I copied in with the paprika chicken thing, I'm trying to recreate this photo from Mashtag Brady. I've just popped into a shop, asked the geezer, do you know roughly where it is? I'm retracing his steps because I know he went up this way, up to the cherry picker to go up to the top of the mountain. I'm assuming that it's up this way, 
The gear's give me some direction, has dropped a pin, but didn't quite work. Obviously it's dark now, so I can't really see what the deal is. But if I can get half an idea, tomorrow's my last day. Before I leave in the morning, I can come back and recreate the photo. But yeah, I'm just locating it. Fuck about for an hour. Get some food, head back home tonight. That's all the plan is. Oh, I've got a bit of painting to do as well. Right, so I think he did put me onto the right spot because up in front is a roundabout. In that picture, there is a roundabout and there is those Christmas decorations there. I know there's quite a few of these about town, but I'm pretty sure this is the place up in front. We'll keep going, have a little look. But I know he'd have stopped off at the shop, probably the spa, and I know he headed up this way, so I feel like we're on the path. Right, so tell me if I'm right. Obviously, it's the night time, so it's going to look a little different. But they're the wooden pegs, look, that's them right there. Lamp post, sign, lamp post, sign. There should be another little one to the right, but the camera doesn't show it. On the next frame, doesn't quite show it either. So then you have also you have little hut, I believe that is the little hut fence roundabout with two boulders on. That's the roundabout there with two boulders. I'm I'm fucking on the money. I know it's right round here. I'm pretty sure whether it's just getting the right angle or not, but I will recreate this shot tomorrow, rest assured, with the fucking beer dribble and everything, and the fucking empty can in the backpack. Although my, my bag doesn't have side pockets. So I'm gonna have to like, remix it a little bit, but it's still gonna be pretty much 90% there. Obviously we've gotta do it in the daylight to get the full effect. We need it with the backdrop or whatnot, but we're halfway there, aren't we? Just, I'll just fucking see how the pictures line up as well. I'm back in McDonald's for the second time today because I'm an absolute wrong one. Wondering, I'll pay card. No, no, I'll pay cash. What am I doing? We we'll go back. I'll pay cashola. Yes, I want to cancel order. Start again. Inglizo. No. No. Take out. Pay cash. I wonder if they do the bacon royale with cheese like on Pulp Fiction. We will see. You know what they call a, a, a quarter pounder with cheese uh, in Paris? They don't call it a quarter pounder with cheese? I oh, mean, they got the metric system. They wouldn't know what the fuck a quarter pounder is. And what do they call it? They call it uh, Royale with cheese. Royale with cheese. That's right. What do they call a Big Mac? Big Mac's a Big Mac, but they call it Le Big Mac. A Le Big Mac. So I reckon they're missing the trick here, because they've got everything else up in French, but there's no bacon royale with cheese so pork fiction either it's a bit outdated or it's lying to me but i'm disappointed about that shit check out the deck man's got a shiny baker deck very fucking fresh i must say if you see someone with a skateboard and you know you like to do a little bit of now and then you gotta fucking gotta ask for a little a little bit on it ain't you ah, oh, nearly bro nearly. nearly thank you man you're welcome Cheers, bro. Thank you for your time, man. Uh, all down for this one, because uh, obviously I don't want to attract any suspicion, but the problem is I can't paint over these posters because that's just going to ruin the art. Unless I can peel that off in one. Happy days, we can paint here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.